things previously on Cat Noir. What's love but the second locomotion? Whoa, 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 Stella. What? That's wrong again. It's definitely second-hand emotion. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. I'm pretty sure it is about trains. No, it's about love. It's by Tina Turner. Tim Barbona? I've been hit by a train. I've been crushed by babies, birthed by herons, and now struck by lightning. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye, Stella. Oh, Ian Browden. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you. Burn the master tape. This is my big break. OK, if you put it that way. I wish Ian was here. I'm your new producer, mm. and you're finally recording songs and making money. You ought to be grateful. Browden is a has-been. Where are you, Ian? I miss you. That ex-producer of yours is working next door tonight. What, Ian? He's a joke, Stella. Come on, Ian, and rescue me! Something, Ian! Stella, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so, so sorry. It is OK, Ian. You have come to save me. No one makes a mockery out of Juggy Brown. No one. And finally, take care on the road tonight because the Tour de France could be passing at any moment. Welcome to Cat Noir Comedy Podcast Season 3, Episode 2. One of our episode titles is missing. Follow me! Row! Row! Mind your knees! <laughs> Pedestrian! Get out of my way! Move. Let me pass! I'm right behind you! Out to a midnight turn them on my bicycle! Tensioner coming through! Matt, am I glad you're here? I need some help to count these sheep. Well, I've actually come to record the podcast, Kev. Wait a minute. Counting sheep? Won't that make us fall asleep? Nah, that's just not true. Counting sheep doesn't support excellent sleep hygiene. All right. But I have to say it's going to be easy, Kev. There's only seven. Seven what? Sheep. And that is where you're wrong. No, I definitely can only see seven sheep. I mean, no offence, Matt, but you have to pull all wrong. More than one sheep is a Shep. No, the dog from Blue Peter was a Shep. Sheep are sheep, Kev. No, not everything you read online is true. I've been a farmer for two weeks now, and during my half-day training, I learned all about animals. Let me update you. One sheep is a sheep. Two sheep is a sheeps. Three sheeps is a shepsis. Four is a sheepish. Five is a sheepish shepsis. Any more than that and you have a shep. So, hang on. Do we have sheepish shepsis and sheeps or a shep? Kev, I'm confused. Let me tell you about pigeons. OK, random, but do go on. It's easy to count pigeons as they all have the same basic name group. If you see one on its own, it's a Gary. If you see two, it's a Gary and a Tony. Three, it's a Gary, Tony, Stephen. But... What if I see six? Easy. Three Garys, two Tonys, one Stephen. Not what I thought you'd say, Kev. Why aren't there two Stevens? You reset at five. Any birds over are always called Gary. It's a very, very popular name in the pigeon world. It's a game of numbers, Matt. It's a load of cobblers, Kev. No! It's all based on scientific fact. I've been reading National Geographic and Birdwatching Monthly. OK. What if there are 35 sheep and 19 pigeons in the field? That is easy. The Shep stands to be Shepsis squared plus a sheep of Shepsis, two Tonys, one Stephen, 16 Garys, or you can round the sheep up for a Shep. So, rounded up sheep or a Shep? If they're in a pen. That is amazing. It truly is a great system. Hang on. These guys are in a pen. One Shep, done. <laughs> but I did warn you, Kev. Yeah, see you later, Gary. Hello, Tony. Didn't see you standing there buying that bin. How's it all going? I'm good, Steve, thanks. This is the life, isn't it? What? Being a pigeon? Absolutely. Spending all day going through the bins, looking for all the little tidbits the humans throw away for us to snack on. I found a half-eaten Greg sausage roll. Nice. I found a milkshake straw yesterday. Bloody lovely. So much better for my gut problems than those plastic ones used to be. This morning, I found a whole Mars bar. Funny what some people throw away. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Look, I've known you for six months now, Steve. There's one thing I've always wanted to ask you, one thing I just don't understand. Yeah? What's that, me old mate? Why are you polka dot? Oh, that's a sign of good breeding, that is. Dad was a racing pigeon, and Mum lived in the woods. But pink and purple? Helps me stand out in the breeding season. How many kids you got? Well, it's early days yet. I'm only nine months old. You look like a neon advertisement for a snack product. Well, that's just rude, Tony. It's just I read some old chip paper news last week. It was about animals who don't have the right markings, are strangely coloured or injured in some way, about how they're more likely to be predated. Well, yeah, Tony, that's right, isn't it? I mean, look at poor Gary. He had that ingrown toenail, didn't he? 
fox scoffed him up. He'd been hit by a car. He was only winged. Winged? He couldn't walk. Look, I discussed this issue the other day with Kenny the Stoke, and he said to me, you don't look like a pigeon. And therein lies the answer. It's camouflage. I'm not sure that's how camouflage works, Steve. Anyway, I, look, I only mention it because I care. Oh, thanks, mate. That means a lot. That really is very... Whoa, watch out for the falcon! <laughs> Don't believe everything you read in the papers, Tony. I'm late. Apologies. I'm always watching. Time. But who knew my sat nav would take me the wrong way? I took four left turns and ended up back at home. I was annoyed, so I set off again. Two hours later, I realised I'd been watching a fly walk across the screen and had been going in circles. I threw the machine into a bin and asked a passerby for directions. After 22 minutes... Their directions returned me to the bin. A homeless man was going through it. He'd taken the offending device. I paid £20 to get it back. The batteries had run out. So I took a bus. The bus dropped me off outside my home. It was the number 35. And now on BBC One, a new youth development scheme is supported by a celebrity as Carl Terminator goes scouting. Scouting with me on the BBC, not IPB. I got free. Hello, I am Carl Terminator. Today I am in Hertfordshire visiting the first scout group Beaver Battalion of the Boys Brigade. Today I will be showing them how to successfully frack for oil. With me is one of the youth leaders. Crisps. Yep, hello. Is that your real name or a code name they give you here at the camp? My real name is Johnny Walker. But what with the connotation that has with alcohol, the group decided to give me a nickname. They call me Old Whiskey, but that never stuck. So I changed my name by deed poll to Gary, with two R's, Lineker. That got me the nickname Commentator, then Comet, and finally Dot Com. Then, after my hair went white, they called me Dot, then OT, which was later lengthened to Otter, then Beaver, because we're in the Scouts. Fascinating. Then that was shortened to Eva, Eve, Adam, Edam, then Cheese, which one child misheard as Crisps, and that's how I got my name. This program is only 24 minutes long. Thank you for that. Now, I have brought my weapon with me to show the children. Oh. This weapon is one of the biggest tools I've ever laid my hands on, and believe me, I have laid my hands on many big tools. Okay, Scouts, gather round. Mr. Terminator is going to show us how to release gas from deep inside the earth. Please call me Carl. Now listen, baby humans. This tool is to be used for fracking. If you could just explain what that is, please, Carl. Some of the children here are quite, quite young. Fracking is environmentally friendly and good fun. I have probably fracked with many of your mothers and fathers. Fracking is the process of drilling into the earth before a high-pressure water mixture is directed at the rocks below to release gas. Water, sand and chemicals are then injected into the rock at very high pressure, which allows the gas to flow out. We then collect it. At that point, Carl, I'll hand out some small buckets for the kids to collect some frack gas to take home. Thank you. Today we'll be able to try out some fracking machinery. I have brought my laser cannon with me to quickly get to the rocks. I will then use my water cannon to release the gas. And can the kids have a go with your weapon? No. Children must stay at least five metres from me at all times. OK, gang, listen up. Carl says the process is very dangerous, so I must ask that you quickly and quietly make your way over there to the large teepee that I erected on the edge of the fracking site. Thank you. Stay safe, kids. Wear high vis at all times. You do not eat bread. You... Do not talk back to your mothers. Okay, Carl, I think we're ready. I am ready to fire my laser. Okay, I am now firing the water cannon. Success! We have gas! Carl, where's the TP gone? Oh, you did mark out 35 metres from the blast site, didn't you? Ah, I thought you said 25. Carl, Carl? Carl, where are you going? I'm sorry, I must be off. I have a hair appointment. Kids. Join me next week Kids. when I will be working as a baker for 13 days Children. in the search of many tarts. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm in the lead. 
Let me through. Watch out. Oh, Ian, it's so nice to be back in the studio, but I did really enjoy the tour. What were your highlights, Stella? Oh, the three nights in Vegas, Ian. And, of course, Party in the Park, where you had to fight off that albatross with only a tusk during the Fleetwood Mac medley. Yes. Rhiannon and Sarah were livid, and then those cuddly tiny lions appeared and scattered the audience everywhere. We still don't know why. I told you, Ian, darling, I have no idea. I definitely some tell me lions tell me sweet little lions. Oh, well. Right, let's get to it today. You can warm up whilst I kickstart the studio. OK, Ian. Just tuning this up for later. Oh, Ian, we'll be like a real band. You on the guitar. Oh, are you playing the drums and bass as well, Ian? Oh, no, Stella. Everyone wants to work with you, and I've managed to arrange for a little guest spot on this track. Oh, wow, Ian. Who have you managed to get? Only Orange Cylindrical Container... Oh my god! The man who plays the bass guitar and the drums at the same time! None other. That'll be him now. Oh, how exciting. I have always wanted to work on a track with him. Howdy, partners. Nice to meet you, Orange. If you just set up over there, Stella will rehearse until you're ready. Hello, Orange. Can I call you that? I am a really big fan. I have all of your albums. Orange is the new Orange. Orange only rhymes with Orange. And Orange your time. It's pronounced Orange your time. Yes, the big ginger fellow. Ed Sheeran. Did you bring your trademark heritage cherry? Oh, no, I must have forgot. Hmm. Oh, Ian, what song are we doing? We're doing Protection by Massive Attack. Must Siva Track. Massive Attack. Must Siva Track. Massive Attack. Must Siva Track. How are you getting that wrong? Massive Attack. Must Siva a Track. Massive Attack. Must Siva Track. It's massive Attack. We, we know. know. <coughs> I am ready now, Ian. Let's go for a rehearsal of the chorus. OK. Rolling. I stand in front of you. I'll take the force of the blow. Protection. What was that? Orange, are you okay? I think I broke a rib. Rolling. I stand in front of you. I'll take the force of the blow. Protection. Come on, Stella. Remember, this is massive attack. I'll take the force of the blow. Oh, Ian, look. It's Chucky Brown in disguise. I did have a suspicion, Stella. I told you I'd be back to get revenge. You might have got me this time, Ian, but I'm going to ruin you and Stella. I swear it. Now, that was funny. (laughs) Ian, what gave away it was Juggy Brown. Well, Stella, he brought the wrong bass guitar. Orange doesn't go anywhere without his heritage cherry. Well, we certainly popped his. (laughs) (laughs) East Mid South West Radio. Giving you a steaming pile of hits over and over again. Ah, coming up now on East Mid Southwest Radio, we have an exclusive for you. Cuncha Bunts are back. Now with new members after a double murder and a double incarceration. Guru 3 and Romulan Kane, fresh from a residency in Vegas, are joined by their accountant, Mr. Peterson. They are still rapping about the struggles facing urban youth and keeping on point with their mature lyrics, chronicling the dangers on our streets. Here is their latest hard-hitting single. Use a boob and scoop for Mr. Cooper, you're done. Just gonna whop another Burger King burger, been a big plopper. All across the paper, I walked through it twice. It was a nice full of ice, it was a dirty surprise. I have a scoop sliding all over my shoes. I got a bit of poo poo over the doo doo. Pick it up a bag and take it home and put it in a bin. It's obscene, it's brown, sometimes green. What enough have you been feeding them anyway? Dogs don't eat curry, we don't bits of five pieces of fruit a day. Take it into consideration, don't laugh. We shouldn't need a bath after using this class. We all know it's you, we see a dog squat, a drop of a full pot, I got the butt. Now tell me, would you like it more? If the next time I needed one, I did it on your door. I also don't like people who leave dog mess without clearing it up. And don't forget, all tax returns must be completed by January 31st at the latest. Woke, 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 woke. The fragrance for lovers of the beach. Fish by Woko. Hello, darling! 
Hello, Stella. And how are you this fine morning? I am so ready to make an album, Ian. I have a great idea for a new song. Well, the cleaner is still here, so maybe we should give it a minute or two. I am nearly done. Five or more minutes. Just start and forget I am here. Okay. Maybe we should try the new track you wanted to do, Stella. Yes, it is Get Off My Clouds by the Mac Jigger. Mick Jagger. Mac Jigger. Mick Jagger. Mac Jigger. Mick Jagger. Mac Jigger. It's a Mick Jagger. We, we know. know. Okay, rolling. Hey, hey, you, you get off of my... Excuse me, Kleena, I am actually singing right now. Sorry, have you started? A million apologies. I'll just do some dusting. Okay. Rolling. Hey, hey, you, you, get off of my... What? Sorry about that. I have knocked over the drums. Yes, we heard. Oh, Stella. Yes, Ian? Come in here for a moment. I have some notes. Okay, Ian. Close the door. Okay, darling. Stella, I'm not sure about your song choice. How about we try this song instead? Oh, okay, Ian. We'll do this one instead. Is it also by Mac Jigger? Oh, yes. It's just a little more, uh, adventurous. Okay, Ian. So, if you just go from the chorus, are you ready? Yes, darling. Okay, rolling. Wild pussy, don't drag me away. Wild, wild pussy. Help me, Ian, it was Juggy again. However, did you know? Easy, Stella. The real cleaner never does any dusting. That only happens in movies. Where are we? Don't let it watch. Open it up. I fell off my bike. I'd be sick now. You've been sick I'm of my trousers, you dirty man. A dog is licking the sick off me. Oh, a dog is licking the dog that is licking the sick off you. Right, Stella. Just be careful today. We've got a studio electrician in, replacing all the light bulbs. OK, Ian, I'll just walk round this ladder. Oh, and this one as well. Oh, and another. Does the electrician really need this many ladders? It's beginning to look like my tights after a night out on the town. <laughs> well, apparently there's quite a few that need replacing. Oh, hello, light bulb man. Hello, ma'am. Mind yourself on my ladders. I won't be long. Just got a little problem to deal with. Here we go, Stella. I've picked out some songs for you. Lyrics are on the tablet. Oh, yes, Ian. You always pick the best songs. The electric tablet, Stella. That's a paracetamol. I thought the words were a little tiny. It does say paracetamol. (laughs) Oh, silly me. We are so good together, Ian. You could say we are electric. Oh, Ian. (laughs) Who are these songs by? The first one is Eddie Grant. That's pronounced... Eddie Grant. Yes, I am not stupid. Just making sure. Don't mind me. Okay, we're rolling. We go to rock down to Electric Avenue. And then we'll take you higher. That was great, Stella. That's in the can. Now on to the next song. Okay, Ian. Rolling. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kinda heavy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kinda heavy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kinda heavy. I've got the power! And that's what happens when you play with fire. I mean, electricity. You get burnt. I bet you think you're clever, don't you, Browden? I'll be back. Just you wait. Oh, bye, darling. Hey, Ian, should I do the encore? Um, what is it, Stella? Love never ends. We'll always be together. Stella, Together no. in electric dreams. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stella, next time, please don't wait for Juggy to leave before you do the big encore. I'm sorry, darling. Do you want some gel for your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it is. Look out! Cattle green! Hello, Ian. Are we recording outside today? Morning, Stella. No, we're not, but we do have a little problem. Oh, there's a drunk man laying in front of the door. Mm, Looks like Juggy Brown to me. 
This is obviously another of his attempts to stop us recording. He is a bad man, Ian. When will we be free of him? I fear not until he has finished exacting his revenge on us for ruining his recording career. Then we shall finish this once and for all, Ian. Give me a hand to get this man inside. I've got some songs to sing him. Oh. You're not minding his head very well, Ian. He is heavy. Right, you sit here. Let me look for a few songs that might make this, um, uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, Stella, we're ready to go. Do you have a song in mind? Oh, yes, I do. It is by Injury. Oh, okay, not heard of it. But let's go for a take. We are rolling. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me. Oh, hit the me. Injury. Oh, oh. Share a door. It's deep a dick. Hit me, hit me, ah. hit me. Yes, hit yes, me Stella, with your go. Rhythm stick. Ah. Hit me slowly, hit me quick, hit me, hit me, hit me! Oh, me jewels. Have you had enough now, Juggy? Got you this time. Juggy? Then who is this? Oh, no. Oh, yes, Browden. Here in my hand, I have the studio CCTV footage showing you and Stella torturing this poor homeless man. Please help me. They hit me with their rhythm sticks. Oh, don't worry. I'll help you, my friend, just as soon as these two have helped me. You two might want to sign this contract before I take this footage to the police. What is it? Contract signing over the worldwide rights to your back catalogue, Stella. <gasps> most of which Ian has produced. Oh, no. This piece of paper will also legally change the producer's name to Juggy Brown. What? On all your hits. Oh, Ian. Looks like you two will never earn another penny from music. Now sign it. Oh, Ian, what are we going to do? I'm so sorry to interrupt. Is it okay for me to show your hand now, Ian? It's bloody warm in the studio wearing four coats. Lawrence Shampoo? I prefer to be called the Burban of Barcelona, but yes, Mr. Shampoo will do. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Juggy, but it looks like we've outsmarted you again. Ian, what is going on? Well, Stella, I saw Juggy pay a homeless man to sit by the studio door, so I guess he was up to something. I paid him 20 quid and then made a call to Lawrence, who is only too happy to take the man's place. Always happy to help, Ian. You really did make me famous. My song's been to number one in 18 different countries now. Yes, and that's quite a feat after we burnt up the master tapes of the album. You burnt them, Ian. Not me. Oh, Ian, does this mean we are free of Juggy now? Yes, Stella. Time for you to leave, Juggy. I'll be back. Just you wait. I don't think you will be, old boy. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to stop me? Come back here, and I'll ensure the police find the body of that homeless man. I believe your money's still in his pocket, and your fingerprints on his coat. Body? What? You are all crazy. All of you. Don't worry. I'm going. Well, Ian, I have to say, Stella is definitely the most powerful musician I've ever met. My God, Lawrence. You didn't really kill that man, did you? Of course I didn't, Ian. Right, I must go. I've got a few things to sort out quickly. Oh, Ian, we are alone for the first time in ages. I have a song to sing you. Really? Yes, Ian. Something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Oh, oh, brilliant. Should I press record? Yes, Ian. You will want to relive this moment forever. It's a song by Priance called Kiss. In that case, we are definitely rolling. You've been listening to Cat Noir. This episode was written, performed, recorded and produced by Kevin Childers and Matt Sanders. What about the editing? You didn't mention the editing. I do a fantastic job editing this podcast. I spent hours and hours and hours of my life doing this. I tell you what, there is never a single thing wrong with my editing. If you have been affected by any of the issues raised in this episode, then please seek immediate medical attention. Or follow us on Instagram at Cat Noir Podcast. You know what? If Matt was editing this, half the stuff would be going backwards. There's never been a single thing going backwards on an episode that I've worked on. This episode was edited by Kevin Childers. Ah, oh, I've made myself look a right fool now. Join us next time for more of this. I ride backwards now. Ah. I'm on the donkey. I'm walking. I'm not even on a bike!